Game two, another commentary done by Diggity. We got game two between Gypsy and Kudos. They have, they, I, aw, oh, man, didn't do, I think they went into a uh, melee thing rather than top versus bottom, so I cannot do the uh, color exchange. But that's okay, because they were getting casted on the live thing, and these are still discernible colors, so not that big an issue. You know, I don't mind it as long as they they select things that aren't, like, dark blue and other blue, or, like, green and light green or whatever. Anyway, upper left-hand corner, Gypsy starting as the yellow turn. Bottom right-hand corner, we got Kudo starting as the hot pink Zerg. And we'll see. And this is on Neo Dark Origin, by the way. Kudo, game one. So I feel like just Gypsy did a really good job managing. So he went four racks. I was expecting five racks. He went four racks. Got plus one weapons out uh, in a decent click of time. And just did a good job of kind of... of uh, Kudo's plan was like, okay, let me go for a larger grouping of Mutalisks. And part of it, when you're doing that, it's just really for map control purposes. It's to either be able to overwhelm or devastate or provide enough of a threat where if the Medic Marines move out, okay, well, maybe you're going to get run over. Uh, at your main, or maybe I'm gonna have enough where I can. And you're kind of trying to put Terran in that either-or situation, but he wasn't able. He was. He did actually did a pretty good job, in my opinion, wheedling out uh, and killing a few medic marines here and there. But Gypsy, off the forex, had a. I, I feel like it was a really good response to what it came down to. It was a really good build order for what was fielded, and so he had enough of a cushion of infantry to first of all secure his main, and then secondarily he got a, a large enough attack force out in the field. And Lurkers were delayed long enough off the large Mutalisk initial play that Gypsy was able to flood to the 6 o'clock location. And I'm again, I'm curious if that Zerg Hatcher was instead fielded to the 3 o'clock location, if it would have been an easier defend for Kudo overall. Anyway, Overlord making its way towards the front. We have a barracks and a supply depot out on the front. In the meantime, for Kudo, Kudo going to go ahead and go for that 11 hatch. About a uh, prettier quick gas here, actually. This is a very fast gas and a spawning pool. I wish I had gotten, the, I think that was, I wish I gotten the timing on that, but very, very quick. So definitely wants to get Mulesks in flight sooner rather than later. SCV making its way in, and I'm wondering if he's going to note how quickly that gets, because you can basically, what you can do is you can wander in the SCV. I think you can click and see how much is left, I believe, and then get an idea of uh, how, basically how rapidly that gas did or did not go up. But we got a tech delay at the 240 mark. Whoa. Very, very fast tech delay here. This is before that natural expansion's even up. So skipping Zergling speed, and this is going to be critical. Can Gypsy get back through to see that layer time? Okay, so he is able to get through, sees the layer. So notices how rapid that layer is constructing. So this is going to be Mutalisks in a hurry, and I'm wondering if it's going to be all in Mutalisks from Kudo. Because it's Mutalisks micro, and, and that might be in response to that for. If Gypsy opted for the four barracks play once again, this is one of those builds that could absolutely swat that. Overlord, because you just don't end up with enough attack troops out in the field rapidly enough to deal with the faster Mutalisks. So four Marines though, making the way to the low ground, an SCV alongside. And I'm wondering if Gypsy's gonna move out and try to find a pocket. Yeah, we already have a creep colony dropping just in case. This is gonna be all in Mutalisk for sure here from Kudo. Uh, so look for about 15 drones, and then basically two hatcheries worth of everything else. The Zerglings, and I like the Sunken Colony placement, a little bit further back to try to provide as much support as possible. This will also deny this sort of play. Nice forward scouting from Gypsy to find that Sunken Colony. So now Gypsy's play is basically hold on and out macro. Just try to survive and out macro. Uh, second gas getting dropped. Yeah, this is in the Spire already constructing additional overlords out and so this is going to be yeah very very a very aggressive mutalisk play as if you making its way back just across just to be absolutely sure that this isn't a fake out because sometimes there can be tricky show all this and in fact have plans to drop a third base while Terran's playing much more defensive but in the meantime academy up we got uh additional bear so going academy first into so two racks blah racks academy second racks there we could say it I'm having trouble talking today for some reason um, but, uh, <coughs> but in the meantime, um, Overlord's at least able to see the grouping of Marines. We got a pretty healthy count already. Some Zerglings making, are now moving off the front. Overlord's being produced in preparation for that Spire to finish. We've got, I think this is going to be all the drones we see at this stage. So, so the 15, 15 plus 3 
I'm off on that. So I guess 19. I'm going to trust Kudos on that. I thought 18 is where you wanted to be, so you get the 15. So you get the, the four drones on the line and then the three gas, and my math is potentially off. And as I say that, he tacks on uh, an additional drone. But point being, he's going to go with a massive flood of mutalisks and just try to win that direction. Gypsy moving forward on the map, trying to kill, it is able to kill some Zerglings that would have provided some form of support. Plus one weapons on the way. A slew of mutalisks being constructed and range also queued up. The Overlord backing off a second and moving a little bit more forward. I, 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 I'm chatting in, by the way. Engineering Bay going to finish here. Range just about finished. And that was a pretty fast range queue up. Was that range before Stim? That might have been range before Stim if I didn't miss that. But making sure he's getting range out as quickly as possible to help deal with the Mutalus. So nice little adjustment there from Gypsy. to try Because he's going to have to weather the storm here. Kudo looking for opportunity. This is a very tight ball, by the way. Exactly what you want to have. Kind of that wall of Marines and already getting some free damage done. Kudo looking to... Might have had an opportunity. Yeah, now finds the opportunity to stop that turret from being built. Another SCV making its way out in the field. That might get picked off as well. But the thing is, is Gypsy can lose a turret or two. He just needs to not lose the game in the midst of this. Already up to 31 workers. I'm wondering if he's going to pause SCV production as well. Getting that third barracks... Prioritizing getting that third barracks up. Attacking that Overlord, drawing that barracks back so he can basically, uh, to provide a little bit of latent safety, that barracks going to be under fire as it makes its way that direction. But this is so the additional Marines that are being produced aren't spawning into an attack situation, so he maybe doesn't need to defend uh, the front. He doesn't need to defend as much. This does provide an open gap for the Zerglings, but I think he's betting that this is just going to be nothing but Mutalisks, and I'm wondering if there's a bit of a supply, an Overlord supply block right here. He's, uh, one thing that does do, though, is, is just... That forfeits these two supply depots and Gypsy now in the red. So kind of a scary situation. He's going to have to make up the difference. He's already got four turrets here near that third. Trying to get a bunker up to provide some additional padding defense right there. So the three barracks remain in silent. This is opportunity now for Kudo. And it, man, with that overlord block, this is painful. That actually, that might have been a game costing maneuver right there. Uh, yeah, building some additional overlords. In this. Honestly, I'm wondering if Kudo had gotten that overlord up. He would have ended up ahead in supply and might have been able to carve up even more here. But right now, still in a not bad situation. He's ahead in supply because of that supply block. He's now trying to threaten that barracks line. Loses a mutalisk right here. Gypsy, recognizing the threat, is flooding here to the north to try to push that back. He's got to make sure he maintains that barracks line. Because if you end up losing that barracks line, that's basically game. The bunker now full up. The Zergling's trying to push their way in. Taking a little bit of damage there. More Mutalisks stacking forward and more in flight on their way. No second gas, by the way, yet for Gypsy. And Gypsy's already got that, that factory up and he's got double star, starport constructing underneath it to get Irradiate. And once that Irradiate is finished, that will more or less be the end of this attack. That will be a Gypsy win. So he's got to hold out for that time, though. And cute. So the, the clock is ticking. And Kudo's line of attack, he's just bleeding off Mutalisks and not even able to get a line of fire. Some Zerglings filling in. An SCV making its way out might be able to... Yeah, it's going to spot the Zerglings. The timing of Gypsy on that scout on the turnaround, that is just... That's an absolute mind read right there. And this is clever. He's moving the factory. Is he going to blockade with the factory? That would be a genius play. But you can see him getting some extra cruft, dropping a second bunker here on the front. I would love to see this factory plopped <laughs> down there to help protect against that line, honestly. But the factory, uh, all it's providing is scouting. So moving that a little bit further forward. A charge at the natural expansion. Second bunker is up, so the Marines can flood from one to the other. I don't think Kudos realizes that second bunker's empty, but sees it and pulls back. And that might have been the last shot. Looks like we're going to see an armory to produce Valkyries rather than the Irradiates. I keep forgetting that's, like a, that's the standard push option. In this scenario these days. Yeah, once the Valkyries are out, it really pummels the Mutalisks. Because a single a single shot, it's every shot from the Valkyrie hits every single Mutalisk in the ball. So the more Mutalisks you have, the more punishing it is. Similar to a Radiate. A couple of Marines dying right there, but this is still a decent sized attack force to hold right here. A couple of supply depots getting delayed and picked off, but still enough of a supply gap to get these additional Valkyries. They're two thirds finished. The Marines doing what they can. A couple additional Marines dying right there. So Kudo's getting some good value along that corner. Is dropping his third. 
feeling like this wasn't sufficient and potentially going to back out the problem the, he has whittled this medic marine army down considerably but I don't know that it is sufficient that yeah there's that yeah not sufficient GG because basically gets caught with those mules they would have been devastated and then there was there just wouldn't have been enough to defend from Gypsy just counterattacking straight down the natural expansion so Gypsy gets both matches well defended it was close honestly I feel like that was an overlord away from Kudos maybe ending up in an overwhelming mutilus situation right there um, but again the tournament pressure it can be just small things like that it cost you everything hope you guys enjoyed it fun match and uh, these guys are just they're really amazing top level love these guys hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening